My name is Ivar Storrens. I'm the director of the Tafel Music Chamber Choir, and you're probably wondering why I'm dressed up in this getup. Well, every December, I take on the persona of the great composer George Friedrich Handel to direct Tafel Music's Sing Along Messiah, the great oratorio, in front of thousands of people. This is a typical 18th century shirt, but a shirt like this would have been worn right up into the 19th century, and it's made of linen. A whole width of material is used, and then the sleeves are a half a width of linen, some reinforcement shoulder pieces, and voila, a Baroque shirt. It is totally done by hand. There's no sewing machine involved at all. So the next item that one would wear over the shirt and breeches would be a vest. This was the first item that I made uh, about 26 years ago for Mr. Mr. Handel's costume. It's crimson silk moiré, metallic silver braid. Here's the latest version of Mr. Handel's costume with a figured silk brocade. On top of that is added metal lace you're saying, what's with all these buttons? Well, they're purely decorative. So on the other side, we see the buttonholes, and again, in this case, by the 18th century, they're fake. The only real ones are at the waist, and sometimes they had one more at the top. The whole of Handel's suit has 100 buttons, between the vest, the breeches, the coat. A lot of sewing. Here we have Handel's coat. This is what I created in about the third season. It's uh, a lovely velvet, grey velvet, which is inspired by a portrait of George Frederick Handel. And here are the pleats. They're, they are actually tacked together so that they, they don't create too much havoc. Why there's an opening here, especially on that side, is so that the gentleman could fit his sword through the slit. So that's a very handy way uh, also to get to your breeches back pocket if you needed to. It's decorated with braid and this stuff just glimmers and glitters. Every gentleman would have buckled shoes. They're there to catch the eye, draw attention to your shapely calf. What you see here is called a full bottom wig. It's the kind of wig Handel would have worn and you either use yak hair or human hair multiple curls. It had to be curled every single time it was washed. The only way you could wear a wig without it being terribly uncomfortable uh, as a gentleman was to shave your head. I've been asked often, why do you go through all the trouble? There is an aspect of what I do, we call it historically informed performance. Learning more about it makes the experience much richer. All these elements are little passports into how we can view another age. So to recreate that is terribly exciting. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us for Tafelmusik's Sing Along Messiah with me, or shall I say, Herr Handel.